Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this Woodland Birdhouse Christmas Centerpiece. So, let's get to crafting. Alright, so for my centerpiece I have chosen these three little birdhouses. I happened to purchase mine from the Dollar Tree. I found this in the craft section of the Dollar Tree. They had another design, uh, but I chose these three. You can purchase your little birdhouses from wherever you wish or if you want to create them yourself. Of course you can do that. Now I, I chose three. If you prefer you can just use one little birdhouse or you want to use two, maybe even four. So that is going to be up to you. And I have chosen this wooden plaque as my base and I chose it so that it was large enough so that my birdhouses fit within the parameter. So whatever you choose just make sure that your birdhouses will fit within the parameter of your base. I'm going to be using a dowel stick now I only chose one. This is a 5 16th inch by 36 inches in length. Now you will choose however many dowels you might need because that will depend on the height that you want to place your birdhouses. I'm going to use just this one stick to decide how tall I want my centerpiece to be. I'm going to be using some styrofoam. This is just some packing styrofoam that I'm going to be reusing for my project. You can choose whatever style of styrofoam you want to use. Just make sure that it is just the size to fit onto your plaque. And here I have some garland. I'm only going to use a little bit from this. I won't use the whole thing. So you just need a scrap from this enough to cover your styrofoam on your base. I have chosen this holly greenery to also decorate the base of my birdhouse. And here are some additional items that I'm going to use to decorate the base of my centerpiece. I've got an extra little pine spray here, a little scrap of Dollar Tree garland. I've got some mini little pine cones, some little holly leaves with some little berries on it. Also got these little twig wreaths. I'm going to take them apart and see how I can decorate my base. To further decorate my centerpiece, I will use these mini ornaments that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have these little red birds. You can choose whatever color you want if you even want to put any birds on there. I also happen to have this little Merry Christmas ornament that I had left over from last year. I believe I got this in a package from the Dollar Tree. Alright, so to decorate my birdhouses, I am going to paint them. You can choose to paint them with acrylic paints, whatever color you want to choose. I'm going to go ahead and paint mine in white and I will paint the base and the birdhouses with this. I decided that I wanted to have a black roof, so I'm going to use some black paint for that. You choose whatever colors you like. I have some brown here as an example. Here I've got some faux snow that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. One dollar for all this is a pretty good deal. I also have some white glue that I will be using and some spray snow. I also have some ribbon here that I have chosen so that I can create a bow to put on my centerpiece and I've got a chenille piece of wire here that I can use to tie up my bow. In addition to the white glue, I will be using a glue gun with some glue sticks here to adhere all my parts together. I will also be using wire cutters, scissors, my little craft knife, and some brushes for my paint and glue. I forgot to mention another supply item and it's going to be these greenery pins so that I can attach my garland to my styrofoam. Any other supplies that I failed to mention at the beginning I will let you know as I do the video. Alright so first I want to cut my dowel stick and I'm going to cut it at three different lengths because I want my little birdhouses to be at different heights. So you could do some measuring and mark the first length and then the second and then of course your last one. The last one of course will be the shortest so I think I'm going to cut that right now because I don't need it to be that tall. So I'm going to cut it about right here. I'm just eyeballing it. You can of course can do your own measuring. I'm using my wire cutters to cut into my dowel and I'm just kind of pressing in and marking it with my wire cutters. If you want to use a saw to do this, especially if you get a thicker dowel, do so. So this helps me and it does a good job. And then all I do is just press down on it. You can even take some sandpaper and sand it down a little bit. I'm going to take this one and press down on it as well to just give me a little bit of a flatter surface here. Okay, so now I have this really long piece and I want three sizes. I definitely want the second one to be taller than this one. And I'm going to go about the difference of the size of the birdhouse here. And that is where I'm going to cut it. And of course, I'm just scoring it. <laughs> and 
I knocked over my little birdhouses, but that's okay. We'll keep on going and I'm just gonna press the edges here and of course we can sand all these little bits off. So now our sticks are ready. So let's go on to our next step. All right, so now I'm gonna take the nicest ends of my sticks. These two were from the, you know, the original ends of my dowel. So I'm gonna use those ends to glue to the bottom of my birdhouses. This is the center piece, so I'm just gonna choose the side that is the flattest, and I feel like this is the flattest. So I'm going to use this. I'm actually going to just trim a tiny little bit of these little splinters here on the end of my dowel. And I'm not gonna to worry too much about it because I am going to cover all that. All right, so now that I've got them as flat as I can, and I'm using these two flat ends, I'm gonna glue them to the center bottom of each of my birdhouses. So you can use some E6000 glue if you feel better at using that, and I think you should, or even some wood glue. I'm going to use my glue gun just for the purpose of my video so that I can do this a little bit faster. And sometimes I like to take my things apart so that then I can reuse them and create something else. All right, so we wanna put plenty of glue and let that dry. I'll do the same to these three and let them dry. And then we will be back once they're completely dry and I know that they are nice and glued on and they're not gonna be flopping off. All right, so now we want to prep our base with some styrofoam. And if you hear any noise in the background, that's just my little fan to help my sticks dry a little bit faster onto my little birdhouses and also to cool off a little bit. Okay, so I have my plaque here, my wood plaque, or whatever base you decide you're gonna use. Maybe you're going to use a little a little vase or something. Uh, then you wanna cut your styrofoam to fit within it. So I've got this here and I'm just going to measure. I want it to kind of go in a little bit on every side. And so now I know that I need to cut about so much. And I'm just using this little craft knife to do so. Now this is going to make quite a bit of a mess. But I want to tell you, this type of styrofoam, if you have all of this, you might want to use that in place of the uh, faux snow that I showed you earlier in the little package. So if you happen to have this type of packy styrofoam, just keep in mind that you can use some of the shavings from that to create that snow. All right, so the next thing you want to consider is the height of your styrofoam. I'm okay with this height. I'm gonna cover it with some garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it down onto my base. And I want to put lots of hot glue and then let it dry completely before I go on to the next step. All right, so now I've got all my little birdhouses stuck on here and my styrofoam is stuck to my base, whether it's a wood plank or a container of some sort. Uh, now it's time to decide at what heights I want this and of course I could use a complete height but I feel like it's way too tall so I'm actually going to shorten it this other one I'm going to use the height of the roof area right here to decide so I'm going to trim it about right here and if I have to I'll trim these a little bit more so I'm going to cut off a good piece there we go I'm just pressing it down onto the table. I don't have to do that because this is going into styrofoam, so it's not really important. Okay, so I want to put this somewhere back here because I need the space here for my other birdhouses. Hot glue, and then insert it, and then do the same with the others. Just choose your height. So I have decided to trim off some more on these other two just to shorten them because I was measuring them up against the table here and they actually uh, were nice but I don't need it to the wood to go onto the wood plaque so obviously I had to trim that piece off. I'm going to put this one a little bit further back just to give them all not only a different height but a different perspective. All right, so now I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing with some white spray paint. Now you can choose to brush on some paint and of course your color choice, okay? This would look really great if it was either, even some stain would be used on it for some browns or if you wanted to spray paint it all red, it would look cute. Now I'm going to concentrate the paint down here and of course on my bird houses. I'm not even gonna bother about the styrofoam, so don't even paint that. Also, when I am done with that, I am gonna come back and I'm going to paint just the rooftops with my black paint. So again, I don't need any real coverage up on the top. Okay, so I'll be back once it's all painted 
And of course, you know how to spray paint, so I don't need to show you that. All right, so my birdhouses have been painted. There we go. I went ahead and I touched them up with my white craft paint. Uh, I did spray paint it, but it's not the best quality spray paint. Uh, so I just sprayed it once and let that dry, and then I just came over with my white paint, my craft paint. Get a little bit of a touch. All right, so now I'm going to put some garland at the bottom, and I've got my greenery pins ready here. And I've already gone ahead and I've cut some pieces of garland that would be enough to go around. And I've cut two of them because I'm going to put one a little bit low, closer to the base, and then one a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the front part here and bend it and then bend the other around the corners. And then I'll take the two ends and twist them together. Okay, now I can take these greenery pens and help me to make sure that the piece of garland does not move around. I want to make sure I direct it where it's not hitting the stick. Let me use another one over here in this corner. Oh, sorry, they're mowing my lawn outside so you can hear that noise. All right, I've secured the first piece, so now I'm going to put the second. Now keep in mind that if you do put this in a container, you really only have to cover the styrofoam that's showing up at the top of your uh, out of your container. All right, so now I'm going to take my ribbon, and I was going to make one big bow and put it on there, but I think I'm just going to make two small ones and put one on each side. Or what I can do is I can just cut some pieces. Let me give you an example. You can cut them like that. If you have two or three different ribbons, and then just pinch them. And take a small piece of chenille and make sure you leave a little a little bit of chenille there and we're going to cut that I, I think i might like this idea actually a little bit better wrap it all nice and tight and then wrap this nice and tight little ends put some glue in there and then insert that into your arrangement however many pieces you need so i'm going to make several of these because i do like this idea a little bit better than what i thought i was going to do I'm just going to twist these so I have them open like that because I did use two different ribbons. And if I need more chenille stem, I'll just grab some more. So let me make a few more pieces and then I'll be back. Okay, so what I've also found easier to do instead of putting glue on here and trying to insert it because you, sometimes the chenille stem can bend as you're trying to push it into the styrofoam. So just roll it up into itself and then just put the glue right on that little bunch of rolled up chenille and then find a little spot to push it and glue it either onto the styrofoam or on the pine garland. Once it's dry, you can separate your bows and make them look pretty. So there we go, this is what I've done. I think that looks pretty than doing some bows. Okay, so now I've also started cutting up some greenery. So I've cut these stems. And then I brought up some of the leaves a little bit closer to the top like so, to make them a little bit fuller. And then I can actually cut them even shorter at that point. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting these so that they fill in and cover up the styrofoam. And if you wanna put some moss in there, some greenery moss or some other, um, you know, like Spanish moss, you can use that. Or like I said, if you're putting this in a container and you don't have to cover styrofoam on the side, you just put it on the top part. And then you can decide to do a bow to slide in there through the top part of the styrofoam. Okay, so we're gonna continue filling this up. All right, so I finished filling it up with all the greenery that I want on here. Let's lift this up so you can see it a little bit closer there. And I tried to cover wherever I could see styrofoam showing through. All right, so let's go to the next step. All right, so I also have these little ornament balls and I'm gonna go ahead and, and glue some here and there in my arrangement. All right, so I'm gonna take these little garland pieces. Uh, you can also find these in packages at the Dollar Tree at the length of a chenille stem or you might find it in a little roll and just use that. I'm gonna take these and I'm actually going to make like little tiny wreaths. So I'm gonna twist and then just trim off. And 
and just make it as round as I can, just like that. And then I'm going to glue them right here in the front of each birdhouse. Or as you can see, each one has a little peg there. You could also hang it right off of there if you wanted. What do you think? That looks cuter, doesn't it? I think I'm going to put it there. Okay, so at this point, I can now decorate my little wreaths. I had some little holly leaves and I have some little mini pine cones that I'm going to use to decorate. Just now glue them wherever you want. And that is what that looks like. Okay, so I'm taking these little um, wreaths, these little twig wreaths, or you can just get some uh, twigs from out, outside. Uh, and that's not really important. I was going to take this apart, but I'm looking at it and I think I like them the way they are. And I've got three of them that I can use. So I'm just going to insert them in different spots in my arrangement. Alright, so there we go. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so now we want to put some snow on our little roofs. Alright, for this next step I took some of these uh, little faux snowballs, put them in a little jar. I wouldn't recommend that if you do have a little jar that has a lid, that whatever you have left over in there, just seal it up with a lid so that uh, the glue that we're going to put in there won't dry on you and you can use it in case you don't use all of it. So I'm going to take some white glue and pour some in there. And then just kind of mix it up. Forgive me, there's someone <laughs> doing my yard work outside. Okay, so now that they've got glue on them like that, they'll be easy to stick onto our little roofs here, like so. Now you could also use your hot glue gun and put little dabs of glue so that everything stays in place. So I'm, this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm just going to push them down a little bit more to make sure that they do glue on. And then we're going to go ahead and let that dry really well. So I'm just going to cover up a little bit of the roofs with this. I actually added a little bit more glue so that they can stick down a little bit easier. You could, instead of using the glue, you could also use your white craft paint in there. And that'll also, you know, like if you're painting it on, the paint will dry and of course these will dry within the paint. So you can do that as well. Okay, so I've done putting all the little bits of snow that I'm gonna put on my roof. Now, if any of them uh, don't dry sticking on here, I can just use my glue gun. Uh, to stick them back on. So I will wait till they're all dry and make sure they're stuck. If they're not, I'll use that. So now I'm going to use some spray snow. And so while all this is drying, my spray snow will uh, dry as well. And I want to spray it here on the bottom a little bit on the top as well. Okay, I'm going to stop before I get carried away and put too much of that. So we'll let that dry and we'll be back. All right, so I'm putting some of the last finishing touches on my little birdhouses, and I'm adding the little tree, the little birds right on top of each one. And then I put this little Merry Christmas sign right here. Just put a little bit of glue. It had a little string and a little loop, which I just cut off with my scissors, and I think it looks fantastic. I checked this glue here. I'm just removing the uh, webs from my glue gun here. Uh, but I checked these uh, little snow bits that I did with the uh, regular white glue, and Nothing needs to be re-glued with my glue gun. Everything is stuck on there really well. And there we go. All right, so I have completed my Woodland Birdhouse Christmas Centerpiece. <laughs> and there we go, everybody. I hope that you like it. I am very happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think. Will you be doing something like it? A little bit different? Or if you have any other suggestions of something else that we could add to this or maybe not even put on here. <laughs> Alright, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscription button. And then hit the notification bell so that you get notified of when I load up my videos. I'm trying to do two Christmas crafts per week this month of November. So I really need your support. You can also go over to Facebook for Trisha's Creations and follow me there. And there you can also post your own pictures of your own craft creations or maybe even some recipes that you'd like to share with everybody else. Again, thank you very much. Make sure you share on your social medias. View the video in its entirety. Be kind and respectful towards each other. And as always, enjoy.